Warning, putting on this setting will make your Apex Legends game a thousand times better. Your discretion is advised. Also hit that sub button, yerd, we're almost at that game, baby, woo! Oh, I hit that Wraith, 152. Bangs down. Oh my god. Body this kid. Where is he? He died. Oh, I hit the other one, 100. Let's go. All right, YouTube, here's the deal, okay? I've been hearing around town, the word around the street is, I don't even know if it's the word around the street, but I didn't have a video idea, so I'm gonna mess with some of my settings. I heard that linear response curve is the best. There's no competition. Your aim gets a thousand times better. And I don't know how true this is, but I'm gonna test it out, okay? You know I'll try anything once. Is that even how you wink, man? I don't even know how to wink, dude. Who can wink? You weirdos. I can't even wink. I'm just... That... That... There we go. There we go! Okay. Before this video starts off, I want you to comment down below. Okay, I haven't played this game in a week. Because I'm waiting for Season 4 to drop. I'm excited about Season 4. Who wants Season 4? Comment down below if you're excited. And also, I want you to comment what response curve you use. Okay? Now, if it's classic, fine aim, high velocity, linear, the one we're going to be trying out in this video. Let's change it right now so you guys can see this is legitimate. Let's go to this setting. Oh, you guys can't see that. You guys can't see that until Tuesday. You guys are going to get a full settings video on Tuesday. So be ready for that. Right, oh, oh my God. We're going to have to cut that out. We're going to have to cut that out, man. We're blurring that out. I swear to God, we're blurring this out right here. Linear. Oh, there's steady too. I forgot. Steady. My bad, guys. Linear. Right here. We're changing everything. I Hopefully, I can blur. I'm I'm cutting this screen down so you guys can only see the response curve changing because you're not seeing my settings until Tuesday. Okay? And you're going to you're gonna like that video, I'm sure. All right. Uh, everything is the same here. <laughs> okay, so it seems that you cannot have no dead zone because this is me not even touching anything. Every, it's just going way up in the left. Can I even aim with this? I can aim with it, but when I stop holding it for two seconds, thooming down to the left. Thoom in every direction here. Look at I'm going straight down here. I uh, no. We're gonna have to change that. Okay, I know I could play dude. I feel like I touch one little thing and it should shit's flying all over the place. I'm barely touching buttons. Look at I can't even this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing right here. How do people play with this? Okay, okay, okay. We're going down, we're turning the look dead zone on small perfect nothing's moving now it's good let me turn towards my tv i'm like turn towards you guys because i don't want to be weird about it you know okay this feels a lot better no nope. no it doesn't it's it's tugging oh this is gonna take some getting used to man oh my god all right guys i'm gonna be back with you in a couple minutes okay i'm gonna warm up i'm gonna shoot these bots about forty thousand times in a row and then I'm going to tell you what I learned about linear uh, response curve, okay? So just stick around. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you're excited to see what happens with my aim. Because I don't know. I don't even know what's going to happen. But I'm doing this for you guys. And uh, I know you guys are going to enjoy this video. So I'll be back momentarily. And yeah, cue me shooting a bunch of bots in a row. And then I'll be back. Feeling a little more confident now. I'm feeling crispy. Not really, but it's it's tugging a little. I'll tell you that much. We're back. We're back for the update after I was just talking to you for about a minute already anyways. But it, it's tugging a little. That's all I have to say. Alright? The regular, normal, classic response curve when I'm not touching anything or when I'm barely moving it doesn't really move. 
okay? Even though I have no dead zone on, it barely moves. But linear, for some reason, is tugging like your dog in the park when he has to take a dump. Okay, this is this is tugging like crazy when I'm barely I'm barely moving. And it's tough to lock directly on the target. So you can see my aim assist doing work. Thank you, console. Thank you, controller. Um, but yeah, I just noticed that it's tougher to gauge on the targets. I'm sure this is going to get easier with practice over time. Um, yeah, but it's a little bit more difficult. And I also find myself, I got a new controller recently. It doesn't have anything to do with this uh, linear response curve. I got a new controller recently. Anybody ever jump while they're shooting on accident, man? Because these paddles, I got these scuff, these new scuff paddles. Nice controller, rose gold, by the way. But I got these new paddles, and all I keep doing is jumping like an idiot. Another thing I used to do, I don't do it anymore, thank God, but I would punch after I'm done shooting. See, like, this linear aim is just whacking out right now it's gonna definitely take some time to get used to but i'll be shooting right and then i'll just be like Ooh. yeah you want some Ooh. you want some of this you know like anybody ever do that comment down below if you've ever started like punching if you do that often because i used to do that with my old controller a lot until i don't know what clicked in my head to stop doing that but i'm using basic controls too anyways guys that's enough talking okay the main points are that this thing's tugging a little bit and it's harder to lock on the targets. But I'm sure my accuracy is going to get better over time. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a, in a week. Did I even say that earlier? I don't know if I even said that, man. But I haven't played this game in a week because I'm waiting for Season 4 to drop. And yeah, let's get into some live games. Gotta fry this guy. There we go. There's one. Thought I heard somebody behind me. Guess I did not. There she is. Alright, we're gonna need another... Perfect. Got him. It was you? Were you taking shots, bruh? Got him. Oh. We fried that guy, boys. Hell no, you ain't getting away, dog. It's a fresh shield right there. I gotta keep that in mind, too. Got him. Let's go. Oh my god. No, dude! Oh my god! Dude right on me, bro. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not Oh my god, he's got a havoc. My life's complete. Oh, above us. He's on top. Oh, I don't have any ammo. My guy's punching me. Oh! This guy's fried. Come on, man. Get off me. Joe Boxer. 
go back here. Oh shit, he dumped five minutes. Bobby. Oh my god. Bobby. Bobby. Oh, one. This man tried to dip on the zip line. I, I killed one, I killed one. What are you doing, bud? Oh, you're fried, bud. Go, right behind. Right behind you guys. I got a heal, hold up. Yep, I'm one shot. No, I grappled this kid. Damn. Let's go, baby. I grappled that kid and couldn't punch him. It was not working. All right, all right, we'll take that. I say that after every good, like, decent game on my videos. I gotta stop doing that. We'll take that. All right, yeah, that was trash. <laughs> he's coming out. He's coming out. He's coming out right now. One bullet, yeah. Two down. Down one. Why is this kid frying me, dude? Gold shield, gold shield. He's dead, he's dead. He's one bullet. I need to heal. Hold up. I was literally pushing that guy with no health because I'm crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> on me, on me. I got her. I got her. I got her. Hold that angle, so. This guy's one bullet over here. Maybe not one bullet, but he's low. Path is low. Path is dead. Path is dead. Yeah. Two down. Two down right in front of us. Nice, 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 nice. Got a heal. Got a heal. Heal quick. Heal quick. Heal quick. Yo, yo. Crack this kick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. One shot. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Self res on the lifeline. You got them all dead? It's like, uh, thank you. Oh my god. That end game was n nutty. Alright, everybody. So you're probably wondering the big question on your mind is was it worth it? Was changing my response curve to linear worth it? And I'm going to make a super bold statement right here and say that this is the most important setting in Apex Legends. Last week, I was playing the game, right? And I felt super rusty. I was not hitting any shots. I honestly felt like giving up for a little bit. And I took a break for about three or four days to a week. Not even kidding. I stopped playing the game completely because I was so like down on myself. Once I gave this response curve a try, everything changed. My aim became smoother. Uh, my movements were more precise. My I was locking on to enemies easier. Guys, you have to give this a shot. Give Linear Response Curve a shot and comment down below after you try to come back to this video. I want you to come back to this video and let me know how it worked for you. That's all I got to say about it, guys. Give it a shot for yourselves. I honestly think it is the most important setting to have on Apex Legends now. And like I said, give it a shot. Let me know. I'll catch you in the next video. It's been sweat. Peace out.